So guys, we just got a deal sent to us uh, via wholesaler. So this is a free lead. We always harp on going direct to seller as your primary business, but you want to add on bolt-ons. You need to have other opportunities coming from different angles, right? We have agents sending us deals and we also have wholesalers sending us deals. 99% of them are no good, but on the off day, probably four or five times a month, we do get good ones sent to us. And this is one that we're going to go check out today. So we'll break down the numbers. We're going to take Tyler with us. All right. So deal came in via wholesaler. We want to look at the comps real quick before we go check out this property. We need to double check. We do have a video walkthrough of the property. We do have photos, but we want to walk it real quick just to make sure there's no weird foundational issues or anything that may be latent that we can't see in the photos before we make that hard commitment and send the assignment over to the wholesaler. So uh, again, 250, this property from the photos is like it just needs some cosmetic work, which is amazing. But what we're looking for today is just to make sure there's no like weird foundational issues or any kind of water leaks that the photos did not have. Just confirming before we put our signature on that piece of paper saying, hey, we're committing to buy this property. So cool thing about this one, it's a 3-2. Okay, it's perfect for a normal family, right? Someone who's gonna bring, you know, maybe a husband and a wife, and if they have two kids, or maybe even having an extra room is crucial. So three, two is bare minimum. You guys see me talk about this before, uh, but the, also the great thing about this property is as you can see, it's a lot of just cosmetic work. You know, like these floors for sure needs to be ripped up. Obviously paint, touch up, we're gonna replace some of these windows you guys see. One of these rooms you'll see like the windows are kind of broken. We'll need to update those. But really basic stuff. I'm looking at the ceiling, don't see anything too crazy. Obviously this stuff is dated, right? But it's easy, easy stuff. So 250 on this particular property, looking at a basic cosmetic remodel, it's only 1200 square feet. We may spend max Thirty dollars to $35,000. I need to double check on the roof. I need to look at that for sure. We'll step outside and we'll look at that together. And I also need to make sure the air conditioner is good. So that's pretty basic stuff. If that stuff checks out, $30,000 in a house this size will go a long way. So you guys can see the kitchen needs some updating. We'd obviously tear up and you know, replace the countertops, replace the sink. We probably end up keeping these cabinets, just refinish them, paint, uh, change these pools to something a little bit more modern. Uh, appliances, all that good stuff, and do some drywall work. You see like the can lights and stuff are falling out. In the doorway here, this leads into like, I guess you would say the master suite. Probably put a door here, or if we don't put a door here, we'd put it here just to close off the master because there's another bathroom in there. But this is the, the laundry room. Again, a lot of cosmetic stuff, easy, paint, nothing too crazy. Hot water heater here, looks pretty solid. As we head into the master here, obviously you see guys like a house this size, the master is not that big. So why does a house size matter? Obviously the bigger the house, the more renovation budget we have to put aside. Just a basic rule of thumb for you guys, when you're doing your numbers for a remodel for something that's a cosmetic, you're looking at about $15 per square foot. If we have a 2,000 square foot home, it's a lot more expensive than something that's this size 1,200. And this is great for the median price for the area, right? So a normal family would like to move into a beginner home. This is a beginner home. So we have the widest market of buyers who would buy something like this. So the bathroom here, this thing is really small. So what we do is we just make the shower look really nice. The backyard here, you guys see, obviously no one's been doing any landscaping, but it's a big old lot. Look at this, this is sick. You got a lot of room, we have this storage thing. We we may end up keeping this and just make this look nice, right? And this is one of the big things I wanted to share with you guys. This whole patio, probably just want to blow it out. It doesn't look functional. It looks like, you know, it's got like plywood up here that's all warped from rain and got wet. Uh, but the air conditioner here, the main unit, looks pretty decent. But we don't know until we have someone check the motor and stuff. I always assume on these kind of projects, the house is old, we're probably going to need to at least replace a motor and air conditioner. So let's, let's just say 2,500 to 3,000. Maybe worst case scenario, end up spending five grand. Five grand on the air conditioner, boom, easy peasy. That's why I say we make thirty to $35,000 on a property just like this, based on if that air conditioner, if, if the air conditioner is good, we make 35. If it's bad, we make 30. But still, guys, $30,000 on a deal that we spent no money on marketing. When we market to sellers, we look for these kind of properties. There's a couple different ways we go about it. Actually, there's three different ways. Number one is our direct to seller. We have the most control over our direct to seller marketing. So we know like this is how many cold calls we need to make. These are how many people we need to call. These are how many people we need, need to mail, like all that stuff to find these opportunities. The great thing is to have those bolt-ons to your business. So you're doing direct to agent 
and you're doing direct to wholesalers. So direct to agent and direct to wholesalers didn't cost us a single thing. Just a matter of, hey, can we give these people a call? Do you have any deals? We're buying properties. And when you can actually fix and flip and you can actually take down properties on your own, you open the door to finding these opportunities with no ad spend, right? So your, what is your ROAS? It's infinite. You don't have to spend any money. You find these opportunities for absolutely for free. So amazing. We're going to find, we're going to make 30 to $35,000 on this deal. And it was sent to our dispo department. Guys, if you saw Tyler earlier, or maybe on another video of mine, it was sent to him. Tyler sends it over to us and we're like, Hey guys, I think this is a great deal. Just like anything else, you got to be fast. You, uh, you guys can see, I was just in the office a second ago. You got to come out when you get these deals sent to you, 90 to 95% are garbage, but that small percentage where you get four or five deals a month, if your wholesaler network is large enough, it comes from just being super duper fast. You got to get out here. In fact, on our way over here, there was three other people coming and I said, Hey, where do we need to be to get this deal done? I got to give it up to my dispo manager, Tyler. He made this deal happen. We're going to end up making 30 to $35,000 on this flip for a deal that we didn't spend any money on. So guys, what makes this deal a great flip? And when we're looking at the numbers, obviously we have to take in consideration, like what are the high ticket items, right? Typically that's your roof, it's your air conditioner, it's a hot water heater, plumbing, like those sorts of things that matters. So when a property like this gets sent our way, I'm looking at the photos, I'm looking at the video because that wholesaler did their part, making sure that we're informed as buyers that we know what we're buying. I'm looking for those small things. And when I saw the price of 250, and when I run my comps and my numbers, you guys saw this property could be worth 340 to 345. Well, based on the photos, that this is just a cosmetic remodel. And a house this size, it's only 1200 square feet. I know that 15 to $20 a square foot for a cosmetic remodel, that's like 20, $22,000. I'm just gonna budget, worst case, we spend $30,000 on this project. It's still an amazing deal. So you'll take out, what I end up doing is I take that 345, I multiply it by 0.95. This is what we need to be to buy this deal and make no money. As we do the, re, as we do the repairs and we pay closing costs, we pay realtor commissions, that's the number we'd have to be to make no money. Now, as you guys can tell, that number is very far away from 250. It's like a little over $40,000. So assuming the worst, we're still gonna make anywhere from 30 to $35,000 $35, on a deal like this. And then I come out to the property just to confirm there's no latent defects or there's not anything that I didn't see in the photos. Oh, this is way more than a cosmetic remodel, right? So I walk the property, you guys see, you'll sure. see us walking through this thing. This is not that bad, pretty simple stuff. Not that expensive. It definitely confirms this cosmetic remodel, makes this a great, great opportunity for a fix and flip. All right, guys, so that's a long and a short of a deal like this. We weren't even expecting to get a deal like this one sent to us today. That's the beauty of being in real estate and having a great network. We get deals to us sent every day, but sometimes, boom, you gotta be able to move quick. So when you get deals sent to you by wholesalers, there's a couple things you gotta keep in mind. Number one, you gotta be ready to underwrite those suckers as soon as they come in. The challenge with that is a lot of times deals get sent to you and you just get beat up with like all the crappy ones. Like wholesalers send so, send so many every single day that we look at, it's like, that's not a deal, that's not a deal, that's not a deal. You still gotta be vigilant. You still gotta look at the comps. And what's the return on that? What's the return on me spending some time or my dispo manager spending time comping these properties? The return is an awesome deal where we're gonna be making good money on something we didn't spend any money on, right? Second thing is you gotta be able to move fast, okay? Got to be able to move fast when you look at it and say, oh my gosh, this is a deal, right? If you don't move fast, these deals sell in minutes, right? If you don't have a relationship with the wholesaler that is going to be holding it for you, then you got to know, dude, I got to move on this in like three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten minutes. The market's super hot. So if you guys are not in a position to move fast, then you might as well not even get deals sent to you right now until you can get in that position and work on your relationships with the wholesalers. We call them suppliers. Work on your relationships with them so they'll hold opportunities for you, especially when these good ones come up. Gives you enough time to come walk them and do whatever you need to do to feel confident in getting that assignment sent over to you and you sign in, in, uh, in ink. So guys, hopefully you got value from this video. If you did, head over to the channel, hit subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.